just just do not be involved. I mean, they're in three of these clips I've seen, they're begging, saying, we the Democrats are going to de-escalate the rhetoric. We want to be friends. We want to be nice. Now, why are they doing that, ladies and gentlemen? Because they're scared to death. The White House put, runs Media Matters on record. They're, it's all, almost all of them are former staff of the White House. They have weekly briefings. And you notice MSNBC, CNN, all of them follow what Media Matters says as the script is loaded into the teleprompters. So that's why the, the website's important. Has hardly any traffic. The public doesn't read it. But the London Guardian, the Associated Press, Reuters, they all go and get their talking points from there. And the talking point is go after Alex Jones. And then that is vomited out everywhere to try to scare people away from this broadcast, to try to make people not listen to what we have to say and, 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 and define reality and say, this guy did this because he was a fan of Alex Jones. Remember the uh, supposed Boston bombers? We exposed they had drills that day. We exposed evidence of false flag, which all came out later. That the older brother was under CIA payroll. That even came out in mainstream German and Russian news. And the Russians had blown his cover. So then U.S. news had to cover it. I mean, that's to be investigated. I don't know exactly what happened there, but definitely a double agent, bare minimum. Okay, there was more going on in Boston than we were told. They were trying to kill both of them to cover it up. And one brother's pled not guilty. Nobody even hears about that. You know, we can play the clip where they said, you know, they were fans, they did it because of Alex Jones, and he's deeply racist. We have the clip on screen of your TV viewer. MSNBC blames Boston bombing on deeply racist Alex Jones, close quote. So I've been through this before, folks. I live this, where three cops get killed in Pittsburgh, and they say the guy did it for me within two hours, and we go to the guy's own postings on the white supremacist websites run by the feds, and he openly says he hates me for years and wants to get me, and I better watch it. Never said anything nice about me. Attacked me on my own website. But they said he did it for me. So see, I'm used to this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we did find one of the clips of literally hundreds where I said during the Bundy Ranch event, I would look for them to kill cops, set up patsies, and blame it on Alex Jones. We have that clip. We're going to play it in a moment. I've been living this for almost 20 years. In fact, more than 20 years as George Humphreys pointed out on air when he was a guest yesterday. I've known George for about 21 years. I've been involved at least 22, but on air, 19 and a half. I've been through it, folks. And for a normal person who hasn't seen all this crazy stuff, people just have no idea how bizarre the globalists are and that they're psychologically predisposed to commit crimes the same way over and over again. Everybody's pathological. Everybody does things the same way or, or, or tends to. But with criminals, in their psychology, and the different types of criminals, it's like a dog to their vomit. Over and over again, they do the same thing. And so you learn the patterns. And sometimes it's a real attack. But then you look at how statistically it's incredibly rare. And in every MSNBC clip we've got, they say over and over again, it's an epidemic, it's an epidemic, it's an epidemic. You go up to Infowars.com, Indiana Sheriff, we need military equipment because U.S. is a war zone and there's an epidemic of veteran violence. Go look at the statistics. We've written an article about it. It's not true. There is no epidemic. Mass shootings are flat. Overall shootings are down 52% just department's own numbers. But they don't care. They say, we've got to have all these weapons. Across America, police departments are quietly preparing for war with who? The Tea Party, gun owners, and veterans. That's the globalist takeover. But it will become a self-fulfilling prophecy if they stage the events. And if they stage some events or hype it enough, Patriots going to kill cops. Patriots going to kill cops. There will be naturally you know, organic crazies of the same... Profile, it's always weird devil-worshipping people that dress up like DC comic characters and who are into death, who go out and, and, and who are on drugs and who have criminal records that go out and do this. When it's real. And then you've got the media editing things, like the, like the, 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 the White House, Media Matters, this is key, this is coming up, runs this clip.
where I say it's totally staged. Of course, we're going to get the full clip. You got to find it at the three hour show because I remember saying it's either organically the evil culture has done it or it was staged. And openly saying their main enemy is returning veterans who are going to be attacking police when none of that's happening. Uh, you've got the media saying, I'm going to cause people to kill cops for years, and then now magically it's happening. Can you say set up? Bare minimum, as I said about 10 times yesterday, this is being sponsored by the sick culture of death. This is the culture of death, general mass mind control of a sick society. Obsessed with torture porn, obsessed with destruction porn. I mean, even CNN had an article about Godzilla and why are we obsessed with destruction porn? And p girls going out and stabbing other girls because they're a fan of, uh, you know, a comic book character that stabs people. What's he called? Skinny man, thin man, slender man. Yeah, all of this going on and people killing in the name of the Joker. There's no discussion about how sick the society is or why is it always the same M.O. when it's a real event. Another stabbing's now been linked to the Slender Man meme. There's no discussion of these people always into the macabre and Satanism and death. And the nihilistic society, it's no, Ronald Reagan was on somebody's Facebook, so it's Ronald Reagan's fault. I mean, I'm right next to Ronald Reagan on his website a Ronald Reagan speech on the supposed, you know, ringleader shooter on his Facebook. That's like saying the police in Southern California are guilty because Dorner was a cop and went and shot people. It, it, it's just incredible. I stand for what I stand for. And that is no offensive violence. And the last thing you want to do, even if a civil war starts, I've said is go after the rank and file general minions of the system. You want to reach out to them and wake them up. And we want to stop this civil war from happening that the globalists are clearly gearing up for and admitting they're preparing for. That's the big issue is that they're telling us to square off and kill each other. That's the big scandal. And then using tragic events like this that we stand against every day to then project it onto us. This is what's happening. This is the framing of the future battle space before it all kicks off. And I hope we can stop it from kicking off because it's going to be bad for every American in this country. I know most police are informed and awake and care about their communities and do want to protect and serve and have not been federalized. And a lot of feds are good people. But if this civil war kicks off, it's going to be hellish. And if the police and military think a bunch of armored vehicles and helicopters are going to do anything in a asymmetrical civil war, it's going to be like hell on earth in this country. Americans and libertarians and patriots and veterans whose backs are against the wall is going to look like millions of Rambos turned loose uh, in the country against the globalist. I mean, it is going to be a disaster. Millions of former military, special forces, you name it, who know they're targeted, who know they're being demonized. It's all public. And your PSYOP doesn't work against them. And they're sitting there watching it all happen and trying to keep their head down, not looking for trouble. But... The social engineers, the psych warfare chiefs at the White House and MSNBC and CNN think you're so stupid. That you're just going to go along with it. They're not buying billions of rounds of ammo and admitting they're gearing up for war with the Tea Party for nothing. Notice the Tea Party's doing nothing, nothing violent, has done nothing. And they just keep saying, we're going to kill, we're going to attack, it's going to happen. So I'm saying, hey, they might stage something. They have a history of it. We're going to come back and play all the clips. And then magically it happens right in Harry Reid's state, right in that city. And the whole thing reads like something scripted, just like the Bo Bergdahl situation, all of it.
And these are people that get on MSNBC and say, we lied to you and said drones didn't exist when they do. Never mind the man behind the curtain. I mean, we can't believe anything they say. They, they stage fast and furious, folks. We're on the march.